when they were in elementary school, they were pen pals. Some of the schools in that time were having, you know, letters back and forth, and they met that way. And then later in high school, my dad was into chemistry, and one day in the chemistry lab, he had an experiment that blew up and it landed on my mother's head and turned her hair white. <laughs> so I guess, you know, love is comes in many different uh, packages. <laughs> Had friends at the Congregational Church and um, really good friends, they're bridge buddies, and so I think they just came to a few times with them and then thought, wow, this is a, a nice place, and so they started going there. They would go every Sunday and my mother got involved, I think she was a deacon, and she was like the bridal consultant person, and later on, she just, you know, kind of sat back and enjoyed the friendships that she had made. Then my dad got sick with cancer and, you know, right during that time and he passed away and it was amazing how the Congregational Church kind of wrapped us, just wrapped us in their, you know, love. You know, she would say every once in a while, well, I'd like to give some money to that, and I'd like to give some money to that. And I, I finally said, why don't you just make a list of, you know, where you think you'd like to give money after you pass away. And she said, well, okay. And so she made the list, and right at the top, of course, was the church. As she, you know, worked on this, Mike and I kind of looked at each other and went, well, she, you know, we have a well. Why aren't we, you know, doing a little bit more of this, you know, being more specific about where the money is? It's not something you particularly want to think about. I kind of gulp every time, you know, Mike brings it up. But, you know, I'd hate to leave this world and not have it done. I, and I think that's how she felt about it. I think she felt really good. It was all settled. I think she just... I felt so good about the church that she just wanted it to go on and on, even after her passing. <laughs>